Today we've um, just rocked up to Subiaco in um, Perth, Western Australia. This is Mark's car. This is his uh, BMW X5. It's a lovely car. This thing here is a twin turbo V8. Uh, has a wicked sound. But uh, anyway, look, um, before we start, what I like to do is I like to just check over the um, the interior. Um, there are a couple of important things that uh, we need to know. First of all, this is 2010 X5, so it's four years old. It's done about uh, 41,000 kilometres, so it hasn't done many kilometres. That's about 10,000 kilometres a year. Um, anyhow, I just wanted to show some people because we always seem to have this um, misconception that the more expensive the car, the more durable the leather is, or um, the more likely that the more the more you're paying for this um, car, um, the longer things are going to last. But it's not always the case. Some of these um, more expensive cars, the leather is more delicate. You're paying more for a more delicate surface, which needs more care. Um, I suppose it's kind of like having a real um, uh, a needy girlfriend really, you know what I mean? Um, but anyway, look, um, let me show you something um, which you'll be quite surprised. Remember, 2010, four years old, it's not, not, not a new car, but it's far from being a, um, an old car. Uh, 41,000 kilometers, that's you know less than 11,000 kilometers a year. Um, it's garaged all day. And I wanna show you the leather on the driver's seat and show you how much wear and tear there is on um, you know, such a uh, low mileage car. Let's just have a look. Okay. First thing I wanna do is I'm thinking, okay, I wanna see how much effort there is to clean this leather. And, let, and upon a inspection, if you have a good look in there, see that, see these dark bits? I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but these real dark bits is where the color has gone, or that top layer is starting to go on this leather. So what that means is um, when I go and clean this, without any effort, this could go quite uh, bad very quickly. Or in other words, I could make this two, three times worse than this. Um, very very quickly so really it's not about how well we can clean this it's more about how um, uh, how much care we can put into this to not make this leather get any worse rather than taking the approach of trying to over clean it so here's another area on the bolster because this is the part where every time you get in and out in and out you're rubbing on these areas so um, we've got to be very, very careful, and there's a bit of wear there as well. If you have a closer, closer look, there is just a little bit there. So we just need to be also gentle. The other place is the armrest console. This is where everyone puts their arm, and your sweat and that constant rubbing wears it away. It does wear it down. So as you can see, the grain is already starting to sort of flatten out a little bit here and then when you get up here you can see the grain is so much more sort of deeper um, that's because of that motion of rubbing along there so you know before we even go to clean it we've already sort of uh, you know the leather's already kind of worn and the more we're rubbing it and cleaning it technically we are just wearing every time we're um, cleaning it so um, yeah we just got to be you know just so much more careful so uh, anyhow let's uh, crack on to it and uh, I'm going to show you a few other bits and pieces later on see you later guys all right we're about to uh, clean this leather and uh, as I made uh, made a point out earlier on is that there's a bit of wear there and it's obvious you can see that some of this colors coming off it's pretty easy to get off so um, should I say it's pretty easy to uh, damage it further should I say just through light cleaning really um, you know, leather can be delicate, uh, especially when they get older, especially when it's a high traffic wear area, especially these bolsters on the driver's side, that's just normal. Um, it's quite normal that Euro cars, this sort of wear is seen in the first couple of years of a car. Um, anyway, what we're going to do is be real careful first. So we're going to take the soft, soft, gentle approach, you know. So we're just going to use some water, really expensive stuff. It comes out of the tap, it's called H2O, really expensive, underrated uh, 
um, cleaning product. You can buy it from me. I sell it for about $10,000 a litre, or you can get it for free from the tap. Um, anyway, so we just spray a little bit of this on there, like so. This is a microfiber cloth. This does wonders. I mean, um, if you don't know the Enyo product, um, I have to admit, this is the car side. I don't like it. It doesn't really clean anything really. Um, this side here is awesome. So, uh, and it's very soft, very gentle, um, as soft and gentle as a proper um, cotton polyamide uh, microfiber. So anyway, let's just look. I'm putting no pressure, hey, like seriously. I'm being so gentle. And as I'm doing this, I'm already seeing that just with this little, I'm really seriously, no pressure. And I can almost see I'm kind of I'm wearing away this the, the colour here it's so really you don't really want to do much more than that so it's, it's a very very fine line in, in my game because a customer could turn around and say Des you didn't really clean this did you and I'm like well you know I, I can't well I can clean it better but at the risk of damaging it and you know sometimes these things have been painted um, they uh, paint them to repair them and all it takes is something like that and that that paint that they put on here just goes and lifts off and it shows uh, reveals all that uh, that damage that was there previous to the um, to the um, repair so uh, anyway look I mean I can see I should not go any further than this definitely and sometimes uh, you get stuck where cars have got that much dirt on it you don't see this wear so you go and press that little bit uh, more firm and then voila it exposes um, um, the damage underneath and it's not really at the fault of the detailer but um, it's just one of those things that's going to happen whoever touched it um, so uh, anyhow um, I'm going to get back to cleaning but this is some water and this is a microfiber um, uh, cloth from Enyo and this is just a cotton polyamide type um, microfiber as you will, it's a general purpose cleaning cloth and it cleans really really well and then for the, some, some of those real stubborn spots what I like is the uh, Swiss Vax Leather um, Forte this stuff here, um, it's a bit stronger, you can dilute it a little bit um, it's, it's made specifically for the, uh, the older leather or well I know it's not an old car but um, it's definitely not new, it's four years old so um, spray a bit of this and not only not only does it clean really really well it leaves a little bit of um, nutrient for the leather so it's not just extracting through the harsh chemical all that uh, softness and suppleness is actually putting something back in which is um, great so you know it, you don't need to have such an expensive product but sometimes it's just good to have in your arsenal um, but the water in most cases can do really really well and there are a few other products and whatnot which we won't go into because we're not going to use it on this car but uh, at least it gives you a good idea right um, I'm just going to quickly show you that um, with this leather on this BMW where I think there is a bit too much wear on that bolster right there it, look I mean the camera doesn't really show you um, how bad that actually is but um, I don't know if I can get it on the camera but anyway um, what we can do is from now um, my next step would be to maybe tell the customer that I could potentially fix this by using a Swiss Vax leather healer. What we do is we actually take the um, trim code and we send it off to Swiss Vax and they actually make a dye that's specifically the right um, colour for this make and model uh, of leather. And then we put a few coats over the top and it re-dyes and it re basically is like puts a, uh, a new surface of colour um, back onto the leather and uh, it's an amazing product I mean for um, what's it 75 bucks for a bottle I mean it's it's not bad so that would be the next next thing to do and uh, one day I'll uh, show you that one
guys, look, we've just washed this BMW X5 and um, although we do wash it quite thoroughly, you think that that should be good enough to be clean and it looks clean, to be honest. But um, the clay bar begs to dip. So um, here's the clay bar. Get you to have a look at it closely. That clay bar, that, all that, all that um, brownie stuff there, that's all tar and other contaminants, but mainly tar. This car, this car just has a, suffers from a lot of tar, especially on the tailgate sort of area. Um, but anyway, so what the clay bar does is it sucks it out. So here's one that is clean. Yeah, nice, bright, blue, vibrant, looks clean, yeah. And then here's the other one. So uh, yeah, so that's what clay does. And basically what we do now is knead this and uh, until it becomes like that again. This is uh, 2000 grit wet and dry. And uh, that stain now, I think what it is, it's uh, some sort of water that's sort of dripped from concrete or something like that landing on here and it's not coming out with compound or anything. So I'm gonna have to sand it up. I've just wet sanded a BMW area there. 